Hello, my name is Gail Morton, one of the research librarians at Mercy University. Today we're going to go over um, types of information. So we're going to look at the difference between a book and a monograph, a scholarly article versus a peer-reviewed article, um, and different kinds of research, so on. We're going to touch on types of information for common assignments. So you'll we're going to talk about the importance of citations, we're going to see examples of primary and secondary sources, and at the end we'll talk about the best source of information of all. So let's just touch on some types of information. Okay, information types. So there's a lot. These are just a few. We're going to go over a couple of these. Okay, so the first one is a book. And first thing we see in Cyclopedia Britannica, which is another type of information. So as you go on, the citations that you'll see at the bottom here um, are going to be from another type of information source. We're not going to talk about good versus bad information. We're just going to talk about it in general. Okay, so Encyclopedia Britannica says this is what a book is. Okay, it can be public circulation, it can be recorded on materials, um, they, okay, so they are the dissemination of knowledge in every literate society. Okay, so we all know what a book is, but there's many different types of books. So a monograph, which is a type of book, is not going to be the same as the textbook, or as this one is, the Alan Watts is it, is a collection of essays. So a monograph is going to be something different. It's going to be, you know, one specific topic on, let's say, how vitamins are absorbed, or a certain vitamin is absorbed, and it's usually one author. As this type of book, it is one author, but it's a collection of essays. And then there's another one, which are textbooks. They're factual. Um, let me see. They can be primary sources, such as an autobiography. Um, another primary source that could be in a book is like um, interview transcripts or work of art. And a primary source is something that's original. It could be like statistics from a study. But books can also be secondary sources such as academic books. Okay. Let's go to the next source. Here we have a magazine. Here's another source, dictionary.com. Let's see what they say magazine is. Okay, it's issued periodically, sure, bound in a paper cover, like this one is, this Splash magazine. It's got photographs and drawings. So there's different types of magazines, too. Um, we have sports. We have trade magazines. Um, you may want to learn about the value of a car using Consumer Reports magazines. Or how Simone, right there, she's awesome. How she is able to swim so fast. She's a sprinter. Okay, and this citation source, remember citations, you use them so you're not plagiarizing. You can see I've got my quotes and here's my source. Random House on a Bridge Dictionary in Dictionary.com. Here's the next one. Okay, so reviews. So this is the New York Review of Books, University Press. And here's what Wikipedia says. I know Wikipedia is not supposed to use that as a source, but we're not talking about good sources versus bad sources, because it really doesn't exist. There's types of sources. And in order to know what your, in, what your assignment is, you have to know the information types in order to fulfill the requirement for your assignment. So we have Wikipedia, and this is what they say a review is. And I agree with them. So we have reviews of books, okay, reviews of movies. Um, we also have different kinds of reviews. We have the systematic reviews that are medical. It's for evidence-based medicine. But this one is a review of books. These are secondary sources. They're writing about something rather than the actual play, which is a primary source. Next, okay, here we have peer-reviewed scholarly articles. Okay, according to my colleague, Kristen Bailey, she's a librarian and I believe her, because she knows what she's doing, a peer-reviewed source, academic article submitted to a journal that asks other scholars in that field to review it for content and accuracy. Scholarly peer-reviewed articles, articles can be primary or secondary resources, either one. Let's look at another one. Okay, these are other information sources. Newspapers, multimedia, social media. 
Okay, and here we are at the end. The most important source of information is in the librarian. So we can read what a librarian does according to the American Library Association, ALA. Quote, that's everything that a librarian does. And you can read all that, but I'm going to point out here, right here at the bottom, an academic librarian gets information to the people. So if you get stuck or you don't know a type of information, or you don't know any qualitative, quantitative information, or if it's a primary or secondary, go to your librarian and they will help you with this. Here you go. Know what you need. A um, lot of information sources to choose from. Know what is needed for assignments and contact your librarian. Here at the bottom is the URL. And these are all the ways that we can offer you help, including research consultations. And that is how you discern types of information.